Uh, Zaim from India. Uh, and uh, Sheikh, my question is, uh, I heard uh, a Hanfi scholar reading the Hadith of Mother Aisha regarding uh, the woman are allowed to stay in Masjid or not. So he said that Mother Aisha said, uh, if Prophet would be during this time, so and so when she narrated, uh, uh, then Prophet would have stopped a uh, woman from entering into Masjid. So he says, we take this uh, uh, saying of uh, the Sahaba as Sunnah, as saying of Sahaba is also Sunnah, and hence we have stopped women from praying into Masjid. But uh, what uh, I have heard from you is, it is uh, permissible for a woman to go and pray in Masjid. So what, how to deal with this and what to say to that scholar or how to give dawa to these people? I want to ask you that. First of all, what Mother Aisha said was not to go against the Prophet's teaching, alayhi salatu salam, may Allah forbid. No way any of the companions would even dare to do such a thing. And the evidence that backs this up is Mother Aisha never stopped women from going to the masjid. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, and all the righteous caliphs of the companions and the tabi'een, tabi'at tabi'een, never ever had dared to stop women from praying in the masjid. So we address this honorable scholar and say, do you know more than them? Yes or no? If he says yes, then he is an ignorant imbecile. Put him in the trash can. If he says, no, may Allah forbid, the companions way, know way more than I do, we say, wouldn't it be safer for you, O Muslim, to follow their footsteps so that you would end up with them in Jannatul Naim in Firdaus, hopefully, rather than go against the teachings of the Prophet, ﷺ, who he himself said, do not, this is the Prophet's words, do not prevent women from attending the prayer in the masjid. This is his command, alayhi salatu wasalam. And we know that Allah has perfected the religion, completed his favor upon us, and accepted Islam to be our religion, as per chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah. So who dares come and say, yes, the Prophet ordered us not to prevent them, but we will prevent them. A'udhu Billah, are you a Muslim? Yani, don't you listen to what you say? Akhi, make a voice note of your allegation and listen to it tomorrow. And probably you slap yourself and condemn yourself of, of such blasphemy. A'udhu Billah. The son of Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, that is Abdullah, and with his father, that is Umar ibn Khattab. His son heard his father once say, I heard the Prophet said, saying, do not prevent women from attending the prayer in the masjid. Out of jealousy, his own son said, by Allah, we will prevent them. Now, what he meant that because of the fitna, because of the wrongdoings, we think that we will prevent them just to reduce the amount of fitna, not to go against the Prophet's uh, 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 command, والسلام, but it came out in a heinous way, in a very bad and inappropriate and an insulting way. Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, was outraged. The narrator of the hadith says, I have never heard Abdullah curse or say bad words in my life like that day. So he cursed his son and used all bad words in the dictionary against him. And he's saying to him, I tell you, the prophet says, do not prevent them. And you said, we will prevent them? Go, for wallah, I will never speak to you till the day I die. And Abdullah kept his word. He did not speak with his son. Despite his attempts to apologize, to seek Allah's forgiveness, to explain himself, he never spoke to his son because of his inappropriate action. So you tell this so-called scholar, fear Allah, 
and don't go against the Prophet just to please your peers and your scholars and the community. Rather, please Allah Azza wa Jal and follow the Sunnah of the Prophet if you are a true Muslim. Thank <laughs> you.